Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Mario. In the last part, we got into Princess Peach's castle after beating Junior Troop for the very last time. Now, as I said I would, I went back and healed, so I'm back up to 50 and 45, and I also did a bit of grinding. I'm up to 70 star points now, because we have one more fight before the final boss. Oh, Mario, help! And it's Peach. Why Bowser would even bring her down here to begin with is kind of stupid. It's not like we need any more bait to come here. You know, we're coming here regardless of whether or not Peach is hanging from the ceiling or not. But anyway, <laughs> if it isn't my old pal Mario, I've been waiting for you. I'm amazed that you managed to come this far. How lucky for me. You've been a distraction for far too long, little man. It'll be a pleasure to squash you personally again. Mario! Jeez. Fool, you can't beat me. I'm invincible! Okay. So here we have the first, or the second, technically, Bowser battle in the game. <laughs> Alright, Mario. Let's see your so called power. Alright, you asked for it. Okay. So Bowser basically has the same abilities as he did in the first battle with a few add ons. He still has his claw attack, and he still has his fire attack, but watch this. Now, with the claw attack, he hits for six now, and he poisons you for three turns. So he's dangerous now. You really want to watch out, although he's not nearly as dangerous as the three anti-guys. If you actually did that battle, if you were as stupid as I was, and you did that battle, and you won, then you'll have no problem with this. Okay, here we got the spell coming into effect. Let's see, don't run out, don't run out. Crap, it ran out. <laughs> I just had to say it. Uh-huh, yeah, that's just insult to injury. It's defending me on a turn that he's not going to attack on. All right, enough of that. Now witness the power of this fully operational star rod. Really, I didn't know there was an unoperational one. Could you point me in the direction of that one? That'd be cool. Might have it as a souvenir. And now when he uses the star rod, you can't do a dangable thing. Let me see. Even Watt can't do anything to him, I believe. Oh, whoa! Watt can hurt hit him. Cool. But anyway, that's not what you want to do. Go down and use your star power and go for star beam. Don't worry if you have low star power, as I do, because it takes none to use. Which is awesome. Oof. Suck star beam, you noob. Oh, what the? Ow! What in the world was that? And now he no longer has... What happened to the power of the stupid star rod? And when you use that, he cannot... He's not invincible anymore. And now you can just get right back to attacking him old style. Or, like, old school. Whatever. I screwed myself up right there. Boom. Yark! You cheap little coward! This fight's just beginning! What is he talking like that for? It's like when people make Halo Machine when they do the head bobbing, talking technique. <laughs> it, yeah, if you call that a technique. And in this battle, he can heal. I was not aware that he healed in this first battle. That freaking blows. I seriously was not even aware that he healed in this battle. That's a very bad thing. I thought he only healed in the, in the next battle, the very last one. And his attacks have several effects. His claws poison you, as you can see. Thankfully, I got out of it, finally. Um, his attacks poison you, I mean, his claw attacks poison you, and if he jumps on you and you don't block it, then he will disable one of your abilities. Don't heal, don't heal. Okay, good. He's just using the stupid thingy. You know, the power boost. Like an idiot. It's like, dude, did you not just see me take it away from you? And also, you really want to grind before this battle. Not, but do not level up, okay? Don't level up. You want to get the level up from this fight. Either that or just use this fight to get really close to leveling up and then go back and grind until you level up again. Because if you do that, you will have all your star power and all your HP and... Ooh! Ow! Forgot about that. He has that attack that will hit your party members for three and stun them for quite a while. So watch out for that. Okay, I really hope he does not heal. If he heals, I'm screwed. Yes, I guarded against fire. Ha! Suck it. Suck it, Bowser. And we have killed the first form. Kaboom. Down he goes. 
and we get... Nice! 39! That's pretty good. Okay, we get the level up. And now, let's just... Oh, HP has reached maximum. You can't increase it anymore. That's lame. Okay, let's just get... Uh... You know what? I'm gonna go for BP. So let's see what else I can get on here now. Stomp, stop, stop. Gosh, you're not bad. How'd you get so strong? Still, you're just an annoyance. That was like a warm-up for me. You got that right. No, leave me alone. Mario, help me. Sorry if my, like, Peach in terror voice is, like, really bad. Whatever. If you want to say Princess Peach, you'd better follow me. It's kind of like what he said in, uh, the first game. You know, Super Mario 64. You know, when he brought her all the way up to the tower. All badges. Let me see. What else can I get? I can get a Mega Smash, but I don't think I want that. Um, I can get HP+. <laughs> um, you know what? Something I just thought of. Let's put on a Happy Heart badge. Uh, no, wait. I don't know how quickly it restores HP. So, no. Never mind. Um, let me see here. Let me get Close Call... And, uh, Fire Shield, I guess. Just to defend against his Bowser. I mean, his Bowser fire. Bowser has his own brand of fire. Yeah. Yep, he has patented his own brand of fire. It's extra hot. You know, like, habaneros are even hotter than jalapenos. But, you know, fire is decidedly hotter than peppers. But anyway... We are here, the final save point in the game. I will see you in the next part where we fight the final boss. I'll see you then.